Hey, welcome to the video. You know, if you've been following my work at all, especially through Battle Ready, then you know that I am adamant about the importance of trying to be as trained and prepared as we can be to handle whatever comes our way to the best of our ability. Now, we never know exactly what's going to happen in our lives, what kind of crisis or confrontation we may face, but it's a good idea to do what we can in various areas to have some understanding of how to respond, especially when it comes to protecting and defending ourselves. Now, a couple of years ago, we put a DVD out called Battle Ready 101. We've been selling this through our website, battlereadystrong.com. You can check it out there. We also have offered it when I do live presentations, speaking, parishes, conferences, and so forth. I'm going to start breaking down the DVD into different pieces in this video, starting with this video and future videos, to start really showing some different aspects about being better trained, better prepared to handle different things that may come our way. Check out this first segment. Welcome to Battle Ready 101. The purpose of Battle Ready 101 is to help you be better prepared to handle the daily battles, the potential threats that come at us all, physically and spiritually. The goal here is to put into practice a couple basic principles and to understand them, that we need to train and prepare to be aware of these threats and then to respond to them in the best way possible. Now, we all have a responsibility, every single one of us, to guard and protect those things that are good, that are holy, that are innocent, that are true. And for the Christian, that responsibility is paramount. It is essential. We need to understand that when we die and stand before God, we will give an account as to how well we fulfilled that duty. The attack of an enemy can take different shapes, different forms, and come at us in different ways at different times of our lives. That's why we need to understand how to respond differently at those different times. For example, it can be a physical attack. There are bad people in this world that want to hurt us and physically attack, assault, destroy. And we need to be able to defend against them. But the spiritual attacks also are something we need to be able to defend against. The attacks from the world, the flesh, and the devil to draw our souls into sin, to tempt us to behave, to live in such a way as to destroy our own souls. This is something we need to fight against. We need to be able to defend against those temptations. When those temptations come at us, we need to use the weapons that God gave us to respond so that we can protect and defend our souls. For example, increased prayer reception of the sacraments. But we need to understand the power of prayer and the power of sacraments. And if we don't take time to train in prayer and reading and learning about the sacraments, let alone engaging in the sacraments, then we're not going to understand more deeply how powerful they are and how effective they are to preserve our souls. Also, reading of scripture, sacred scripture, the word of God. Also, acts of self-sacrifice, fasting, for example. These things have a tremendous power to deal with the spiritual attacks. We also need to evaluate a situation to see if the environment that we're in is dangerous to the soul, if it's causing the temptation, if it's providing the temptation that's attacking us. Maybe it's some entertainment. Maybe you're hanging out with a group of people that are dangerous. The conversation is dangerous tempting and sinful. Maybe that environment is dangerous to your soul and you need to move out of there. You need to get off the X. You need to get out of the way. That X would be where that attack is coming, where it's targeting, and you need to get out of the way so you don't get hit. Spiritually, as well as physically, we need to get off that X. And we all know that we live in a world where we face the possibility of personal physical attack. And that attack could be against ourselves or it could be against our loved ones. The reality of the threat of a personal attack can be frightening. Therefore, we must do all that we can to be prepared to defend, to protect ourselves, as well as those that God has entrusted to our care. It's not just a good thing, good idea. It's a responsibility. It's a duty. As we've already said, there are bad people in the world who will do and want to do bad things. We need to do what we can to be able to protect and defend against that. Men, women, children of all ages can train and be ready to protect and defend. I want to make something perfectly clear. You do not need to take a martial arts class in order to learn basic self-defense, to defend yourself and be safer in your day-to-day -day environment. It begins by training the mind to be aware as much as possible at all times of the situation that you are in. Now I realize that it's hard for some people to think about, to process, the reality, that there are people in this world that have no problem hurting other people, even taking other people's lives. But we see the statistics and they're obvious. We need to realize that national surveys from the CDC, FBI, and the Department of Justice tell us that one in five women in America have reported experiencing some kind of sexual assault or rape. One in six men have also experienced some form of sexual assault in their life. Somewhere in America, a woman is sexually assaulted on average every two minutes. And you gotta consider that not every sexual assault is reported. 
So that number is most likely much higher. And when it comes to home invasions or burglaries, over 3 million household burglaries or home invasions are reported every year. And in nearly 30% of these home invasions, a member of the home is present during the time of the crime. And in 7% of these home invasions, some family member or someone who was in the home experienced some form of violent attack or assault. And like I said, this is the first video of many that I'm putting out that will break down Battle Ready 101. If you're interested in getting that DVD, you can pick it up at BattleReadyStrong.com. God bless you. Have a great day. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to this channel. There's more on the way.